So guys, I am back with another Lords of the Fallen video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you the best Viagra farm you can use in this game as a solo player. There's no way better than this. You will earn upwards of 2-3 thousand per minute. Easy. Without a shadow of a doubt. Let's go. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this is a method. I'm pretty certain other content creators are going to see this. Upload it and claim it as their own. If you see this dirty business, guys, make sure you state this was found by DPJ. I actually found this by accident. And what it consists of you resting at a vestige point. Every time you come out of that rest state, there's going to be a spiky head enemy right in front of you. This guy will give you 500 Viga every time he dies. But we don't have to fight him. It's as simple as this. We rest, we respawn here. Run straight past him, guys. We run to this wizard witch thing here. And it run straight off. He follows you, he dies, you respawn at the top, you blast, shoot that thing off, you get that Zweiger, you get the other dude's Zweiger, you get plenty of Zweiger guys, over well, basically like five, six hundred per run, even more, then you simply run backwards and you rest again, once you rest, I mean the quicker your platform is at loading, the quicker this will be, but Xbox it's like five to ten seconds rest, uh, loading screen, and then we're done again run straight past him run to the very edge he comes off he dies you respawn at the top blast that thing off you get that Zweiger you get the big dude Zweiger and there we go it's as simple as that then you just run and rest again I think it's what is it like Five, six hundred per run you're doing this. I'm not sure what the wizard thing gives you. But hey, it's a good amount. Now this uh, vestige point is actually close to the start of the game too. And I'll show you how you get here in a quick second. I'll demonstrate to you a couple more times. Run straight past him. Run off here. And that's it. He will die. You spawn at the top. You blast this one off. Grab its Viger. Grab that Viger. And that will also drop materials, items, things you can use as well. And there we go. Simply just run, rest again. Now, what I will say is, it's happened to me probably once in about 30 runs. The guy, the spike head dude, will chase you to the very edge, but then he will stop. So, what he'll do is, he'll stop, like basically right at the very edge. I'll try and demonstrate it. He'll stop. I oh, know. Well, sometimes he stops right at the very edge. But if you carry on running, it doesn't matter because if you die, you'll respawn at the top anyway and blast him straight off. Simple as that. It is as simple as that. And you can use this over and over and over again. I'm not sure exactly how much it is. But I mean, if you're quick, you can do this once every 15, 20 seconds. And you're getting six, 700 per run. I mean, it's quite a lot of Viga for a solo player. And again, if you're on, play, uh, on PC, it's going to load even quicker. So yeah, absolutely wild people. So let's get this get this Viga. Um, There we go. There we go. And now we're just going to run. Uh, I'm actually going to run to this point from the very first vestige point you'll come to because it's just probably easier for guys that are new to the game. So once you defeat the first boss of Payetta, you need to defeat the first boss of Payetta and the second boss, which is the Sister Scourge. I believe her name is. You'll see them on screen now. Defeat two, these two bosses, guys. And you are good to come to this point. So we're coming to the actual Sky Rest one. They come here and run from this point. Now it's going to take me about three or four minutes to run here. But I'm going to ignore every enemy and get here quite quick. So you'll be good. But yeah, I just want to make this video so it's clear for every player in the game. So once you beat Pieta, I don't want to drop any spoilers. But hey, hint, hint. If you know, you know. You'll come to this vestige point right here. This is the vestige of Ifruk. So we're going to come out of here, guys, and we're just going to run down this way. Just like so. And again, there will be enemies in your way. You don't have to fight them if you don't want to. I mean, some of them you may have to, but the majority of them you can just run straight past. So come up here. Quick as you can. And keep running. Keep running, people. I say it's going to take three or four minutes. It's probably going to take about two minutes to run here, to be honest. Isn't that far away from the start. 
it's just a lot of scaling to be honest that's about it that's the only issue get out of it you're not pushing me off the edge that dude has caught me a couple of times already so from here you're literally guys gonna run up into this room if you haven't already you want to activate this vestige on your right hand side just there so rest here just like so now this next boss you'll come to is the scourge sister she's about 80% easier to beat than Pieta. Pieta was a pain in the ass, but this one's so much easier she ain't got that long ass sword that will hit you from across the map so yeah let's come this way and you'll come to this boss room in a second again it's an easy boss to fight so i'm just gonna come this way guys and come through here now you have to be careful here walking across these planks and go down here just jump down come back on yourself and come this way just like so then we're gonna go out of this room this is the boss room this is where you'll fight the boss you'll you should be able to take if you can take out pyre like i said you'll destroy this boss and you'll progress on and you'll come up here just like so and you can kick this dude off the edge get off there give me that give me that and off here i wouldn't recommend you doing this with this amount of vigor on your block though by the way people spend it before you do this just in case there's a good chance you probably will fall off sooner or later so when I run around this corner, there's actually um, a thing there too, guys, which you can, you can anchor between realms. So you want to activate that while you're here, just in case. And then, guys, run around this corner. And you want to run up to the top of these steps, just like so. Watch this guy in front of you. When he swings at you, just dodge through him or run past him. It don't really matter. Then you want to get up. Ooh, what's the thing there for me to pick up? But hey, we leave that for another day. That guy just fell off. I don't know why he's playing that but hey now from here we want to enter the umbral realm so do what you gotta do guys oh there we go now we want to pull ourselves across so lock onto that and pull ourselves across just like so Ooh, that went straight past my head so from here there's actually a spike head dude hiding behind that pillar so you just want to run straight towards that ladder there and don't die so run as fast as you can straight towards this ladder and get up it just like that don't worry about coming out of the umbra realm we need to go back into it either way so you might as well stay in it uh, and then you want to take these guys out get off there and then we're going to jump across here just like so now this guy we need to suck the soul out of his uh thingy so let's just do that there we go. Now you probably want to get this guy with uh, range attacks because he just throws things at you. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but hey, kill him with no range attacks and you're good. From here, just jump across, but be careful, obviously. You don't want to fall down. Just like so. There we go. Grab these while you're there. There's no enemies. There's only one enemy there that will hit you, so just jump across. Go straight up the ladder if you don't want to take him out. Quite easy. Come up to the very top guys and I think we're gonna go up a ladder again here. There's gonna be someone up here though who's gonna try and attack you, but just run straight past him. And straight up this ladder. Just like this. And from here guys, if you need to use your health, use your health. And then you wanna run and jump straight off. Go this way. Ignore enemies, jump there. Just to be careful. You may have to actually activate that first time here. But do what you gotta do. Then guys, we come to the very top. And then we want to pull ourselves across. Now you're going to get hit by a few enemies trying to hit you with uh, finger attacks here. So be careful about that. It would help us over in the right mode to be honest. Again, we want to do it again. Just like so. And then again guys. Just like so. You're going to, you're going to pull me mate. There we go. Careful that dude down there. You probably want to kick him off if you can. Pain in the ass. And you want to run up here. And you want to go this way. And then across this way, but be careful. And then, this is where that guy will come running at you. So you want to be careful here. So I'll make him see you. Once he runs past you, use your dodge. Come on, you're coming out of what, mate? There we go. And then just run in. Once you run in, 
Activate the prestige. And you are good. And from here, guys, you can farm away. Farm, farm, farm that Viger. An infinite amounts. Super, super quick again. Make him luck, aren't you? Run straight off. Just like so, you'll spawn back at the top. Shoot that dude off. Get his Viger. Get this dude's Viger. And there we have it, guys. Infinite Viger early on in game. No fighting involved. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next. Yeah.